Hello everyone, it's Steamboy27. Let's continue Oz Your Dreams. Ah uh, yes, load times. Where have they gone? I feel like load times have gotten longer since games get more advanced. Oh well, here we are on the second floor of the Monster Tower. From here on, from here on out, the game will be completely random on its floor design, as well as its item distribution, as well as trap distribution. We'll see. Now everything is on a time, and you can fast forward time by holding down triangles, so you can basically move really fast. However, you're unable to do this when you uh, encounter an enemy, because they don't. the game doesn't want you to accidentally run into an enemy and then fast forward time and get yourself killed. If you haven't noticed though, we are very, very weak. We are level 1. So, you're gonna have to rely on your monster to help you. Ow. Uh oh. Run! Wow, I'm gonna die on the first freaking floor. Oh boy. Oh no. Ah! ah go away! Alright, maybe now that I have the high ground, I can kill him. Yes! And I've leveled up. And I was wrong, the bar below my HP is actually just a physical... A physical uh, representation of my HP in the form of the life bar. And now, uh, Kuhn is dead. And when I say dead, I mean he's unable to fight. He's been knocked out, so we can't use him anymore. What a horrible way to start this let's play. Alright, we got an iron sword. It's apparently better than our other sword, so we're going to use it. And it happens to be plus two, so that means that the iron sword's innate three attack power will be added with two, so now it does five damage total. Ah, oh, here we go. This is a wind crystal. The wind crystal can be used to return to town. Without a wind crystal, you will be unable to leave the tower. So we make sure you have one on hand, just in case you get into a pinch. Now, usually, I recommend exploring the entire floor. Um, but uh, because I lost my monster, I'm very, I'm very, I'm very to for leaving this area as fast as possible. Because there's a hidden game mechanic that the game doesn't tell you about until you go in a second time, or at least it tells you during the tutorial, and I ignored it. You see, when you leave the tower, evil magic lowers your, uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. There's an upheaval trap. It causes the landscape to become chaotic, increasing the things all together. And what happens is that your character will be sent back to level 1. Monsters are immune to this, however, so if you, uh... If you level the monster, the monster will keep its level. So only humans are affected by the curse of the tower. I want to leave here as soon as I find some money. Oh god. Great, now they're awake. Alright, let's explain another thing I got. I just got a Tumna fruit. Oh, and an Amazar seed. It increases your level by one. Think of it as rare candy. Now this is a Tumna fruit. And if you throw it at an enemy, it'll turn him into a frog. And the frog will not be able to do anything. So it's easy to kill. Experience in this game is split, so the less people out in the party, the more experience you'll get. This means that if you're by yourself, you'll get a lot of experience. I want to get a little bit more money. Oh god. Oh no. Ugh. Yeah, some enemies can do that. Now fortunately for you, the monsters aren't that smart when it comes to navigating the area. You can cut corners like this, watch, I'll do a diagonal, and I'll go here. Some monsters aren't usually that smart, so you can outrun people if you don't run for something else. Alright, that's enough, we're going, we're getting out of here. The game is very difficult because you yourself will be demoted in your levels every time you leave. So no matter what happens, you will always be level 1. The way to win the game is to slowly advance higher and higher, maintaining your, maintaining your health, 
uh, you have to rely on your monsters. So your monsters have to really have a really high level in order for you to beat the game. This takes a long time because when you die, when, when you die, the entire game is over. So if you don't level yourself up as you pace through the dungeons, you can become a walking, you can become a walking target. And the moment one monster hits you, you can't proceed. So your monsters will act like a booster for you. They will kill monsters of higher levels for you, and that way your level will balance out or make it easier for you to uh, level up. I don't know if that was hard to understand, but basically it means level up your Pokemon. Alright. The reason your mom told me told you that you can only hold up to five items when you're in the uh, when you're in when you, when you're in the town. You can only carry up the five items into the tower. Some curse doesn't let you. Alright, so here we have a Panolpa egg. It's the slime looking monster we fought earlier. You can either hatch it in the hut over there, or you can sell it at the monster bazaar, which we are going to do. So in this, in this episode, I'm going to go show you around the town. Well, the main parts of the town, anyway. And when a raccoon's in your party, he will follow you like this. First, let's go to the Monster Bazaar. We are not very popular in the town, but oh well. Alright, so we're, we can go here to sell eggs and monsters. We can't sell Coon, obviously, because he's like a person we can go to. Also, oddly enough, we can sell other things, but we're not going to do that right now. So we'll sell this Ponoble egg for 400G. And if we try to buy anything, uh, well, we can't actually buy anything because our town lost a lot of top monster hunters, including our dad. So once they get a monster, it sells immediately. You'll never be able to buy a monster from here. You'll only be able to sell. It's unfortunate, but oh well. Alright, below this is the item shop, I think. No, this is the fortune house. This fortune house doesn't really tell you anything important. Maybe at the end of the game I'll show you, or some other time. Uh, why not? Let's show our fortune. This is the beginning of our game. Um... How about how to fight? I do like it. Okay, this is one of those things, isn't it? Maybe I shouldn't do these anyway. I think this place gives you hints, but honestly, they're not that useful. And I'm not gonna tell I'm not going to actually talk to her anymore. She's just there, she give you a quiz and all that stuff. Oh well. Right. Over here is the weapon shop, and down here's the item shop. Let's go to the weapon shop first. Oh, let me just talk to this guy. This is Ghosh. He acts as your rival throughout the game, and he's pretty gay. I don't like him. Okay, I don't understand that conversation there, but really, nobody likes me. Oh well. Also, as you can see, since we got back home, we can we saw we can see how many charges the fire orb has. I'm gonna sell that. Sell all these things. I'm gonna keep the one iron sword, and that's gonna be it. All right, and the last place we're gonna go to now is going to be the item shop. We'll go to other places later, but for now, these four things are you, the places you're gonna go. Oh, wait, 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 there's one more. Sorry. This is Fur. She... She's kinda rude. She is the uh, tender of the item store, and we can sell her stuff. We're going to sell her the pita fruit? Yeah, we're gonna sell her pita fruit. Wait, wait, never mind. We're not selling. We're not going to sell her anything, we have five items now. 
as you can see, no one really likes talking to us. They don't think we're very mature, and they don't think we're worth talking to. But as we go through the game and gain uh, rena gain renown, we will be much better, uh, much better recognized. Hmm. There was a time you could not save a patient because he did not have the equipment. Yes, you can buy medicine here, and it'll be 15 gold, so it's pretty good. At the weapon store, though, they sell they sell medicinal herbs for like 50 gold. So what you want to do, actually I'll even show you. Buy. See, they sell medicinal herbs for 20 gold, but if you, uh to the other place, you'll get a discount. 15 gold instead. So, make sure you know what you're doing. Now, there's gonna be two other mechanics I'm gonna show you, and I think that'll be it. We're gonna go through the first floor again. Yeah, that was a rather humiliating defeat. I didn't expect to fight a flame. When it comes to monsters in this game, I'm pretty positive I'll get an egg for everything, so it doesn't. Don't worry about this. This isn't going to be like Dragon Warrior monsters. Even though there is a fusion option, it doesn't. There's no hidden monsters. All right, so let's go through this stuff. In order to take out Kuhn, we have to select him and collar him. He doesn't come out naturally. All right, two other things we can do. We can use seeds. Seeds have. Oh crap. Oh my god. Well, you see what. Well, at least you saw what it did. It levels you up. But it's pointless to be used on me because I'm gonna get demoted when I get out of here. <sighs> I wanted to use it on Kuhn, but oh well. Notice that Kuhn has 12 HP and 100 MP. And these things, the Pita and the Medicinal Herb, restore HP and MP. But Kuhn is full on MP. So what happens if we give him the Pita fruit? His MP will be increased by 1 if he's at full MP. Same thing goes for the Medicinal Herb. If you give him a Medicinal Herb, his HP max will be increased by 1. So this is a very useful trick to use. It's, built, it's very good to use over time. Like every time you don't feel you need something, you can give it to your pet and maybe he will, uh, he will get an increase in HP, which is always good. It adds up. Ah, we got the Star Glass. Uh-oh. The trap. You get the star glass, and the star glass allows you to see what uh, the entire floor, which we're going to use now. So now you can see the entire floor, um, and you can actually move while you're on the floor. It's very cool. Unfortunately, uh, it's actually kind of hard to see which where you're going. See, look at me. I'm on a screen. Almost like it's a... It reminds me of, like, old Windows games. There we go. Kuhn is now level 2. And every time a monster levels up, his magic will go up a level as well. This is this means that monster uh, magic is, a, is actually a set number rather than a, uh, a stat multiplier. As it, that is to say, the magic does a set amount of numerical damage rather than derive from a monster's stats. It's, it's hard to s explain, but hopefully those who know games will understand what I'm saying. It's not something you need to worry about. Ow. This noise over here is a wind elemental. The troll we just fought is fire elemental, and the panopa is water elemental. Just something I wanted to put out there. These episodes will be very extended, probably 15-20 minutes every time, because this game is long. It's a tower game, so obviously there's going to be lots of repetition and other such things, and I, may, I will most likely be playing this game off screen. Well, off screen to train and get money. Alright, we leveled up Kuhn again. Ah! Kuhn, come back! When your monster is blind, he'll go off and do whatever he wants. It's sort of like confusion. 
He'll also attack randomly, so don't stay next to your monster. As we go through the game, it'll be a lot easier to, uh... As we go through the game, everything will be explained, so there's not much need to explain everything now. I got a Gulf Wind, store, Gulf Wind Sword. It has the uh, it has the uh, elemental of wind on it, so it's going to be super effective on water monsters. Everything's pretty self-explanatory in the descriptions of this game. And now let's go up here for real this time. Yes, we're gonna. I think that's yeah, that's good for now. Maybe I'll play this game twice a day. Maybe who knows. And as you can see, there's a number next to our name in the save file. And what that number represents is how many times we have gone into the tower. So now that thing will say two. I'll even show you. See, now it says two. So we have gone on two quests so far. Alright everyone, this is Steamboy27, wishing you a brighter tomorrow. Have a good day.